Also new tonight, some oil rigs pumping crude right next to homes. That may be the norm in Kern County, but not here in the Bay Area. Well, not yet anyway. Tonight, Alan Martin shows us how that may change in a KPIX5 original report. We're used to seeing oil refineries. The Bay Area is home to three of the largest in California. But it came as a shock when some East Bay residents found out about a proposal to drill for oil right behind their housing development. It looks like a street lamp, but it's not. It's a methane vent, the only giveaway to a secret beneath the blacktop. This quiet Brentwood suburb sits on top of a huge oil field that was prolific back in the 60s and 70s, but then abandoned in the 90s. The vents, along with capped wells, are scattered all over the housing development that's now built right on top of them. When I moved here and I bought the house you know, 20 years ago, um, it was very minimized. They've taken on new meaning for John Wilson and his neighbors because now some oil and gas developers think the field was abandoned too soon and they want to revive it. I didn't think it was real. I was just shocked. Like, it just seems ridiculous that in the Bay Area they're going to put oil wells next to my house. According to a public notice, Indiana based Power Drive Oil and Gas Company wants to drill three exploratory wells. And if oil and or gas is found in commercial quantities, a permanent production well will be installed. We have concerns about any of this leaching into the groundwater. If this is going to be a horizontal drilling that's going to come underneath our neighborhood, that might cause the other capped oil wells to start venting a lot more than they have been. Dependra Rise House is closest to the proposed drill site and directly downwind. Pretty much anything that leaks into the air is going to be basically coming to the neighborhood. He worries about his elderly parents and his young daughters who love to play outside. I just purchased a home and it was not disclosed that there was going to be a drilling site next to my pretty much backyard. I get it. I get the natural reaction that this is bad. But Bob Nunn, whose company Sunset Explorations is in partnership with Power Drive, told us neighbors' concerns are overblown. Dozens of wells in, in Contra Costa have been drilled 500 feet from homes. We just drilled one in Antioch a few years ago 300 feet from homes. We didn't have a single complaint, not one. His company started drilling again in the old oil field two years ago, just down the road in Antioch, and found the wells to be surprisingly prolific. The oil rates we're getting now are significantly higher. Instead of getting 99% water, as they did at the end in 1992, uh, we're getting 95% oil. He took us to the proposed new drilling location to show us how hidden it'll be. It's behind a hill and 1,100 feet away from the closest home. All the research that we've seen, 1,000 feet plus, which is what we are, self mitigates any potential health risks. The county hasn't found any major issues with the drilling plants. In fact, a preliminary report says, and I'm quoting here, the project may result in impacts to the environment, but those impacts will be less than significant. But not everyone's buying that. In 20 years of reviewing environmental documents for projects like these, this is the worst I've seen. Casey Siegel is a senior scientist with the Center for Biological Diversity. She says the county report places no restrictions on what will happen if oil is found. The county's proposal says nothing about any limitations on fracking or these other ultra-hazardous extraction techniques like steam injection. So the county is preparing to write the oil operator a blank check to do whatever they want out there. Although none told us no fracking is planned, she says, It doesn't matter what the applicant says. It matters what the county is actually considering approving. As for the county, it turned down our request for an interview, saying in a statement, we are currently looking into this to determine if it will or will not include horizontal drilling and use of hydraulic fracturing. Neighbors, meanwhile, are gearing up for a fight. Nobody wants to see it. Nobody wants. It's, it's, it's just um, it's not a neighborly thing to do to put this next to our houses. The public comment period ended yesterday. The Department of Conservation and Development will now review those comments. Then it goes to zoning and planning. Alan Martin, KPIX5.